All right, guys, I'm in the throes of some standard kayak maintenance, switching out some parts, and one thing that I realize never gets enough maintenance is a product we build, your bump board. Today, we're gonna show you how to clean your catch board. All right, guys, we're here at the work slop sink. Uh, I'm gonna remove the catch ID with the uh, Blue Fox tin tag, and I'm also gonna remove the, the end from my Never Lost Tether, and we're just gonna get after it. And this is really more simple than people wanna make it all the time. They think there's some miracle thing that cleans a bump board really well, and the truth is, it's just dish soap and warm water. So, get the warm water going. If you have a sponge, a sponge is okay to use, but don't use anything with bristles. That's gonna leave marks on the anodizing. It might mark the, uh, it might even mark the powder coat boards. So, just a second to heat up. I like to just wet it down and then work the soap in a little bit with the sponge. You shouldn't need to scrub too hard and you should try to get as much debris off as possible. If I'm picking up any rocks and stuff, if I drag it in the sponge, it's gonna leave a little mark, but um, actually this is like straight up real time. So we've kept the video running. Um, let me just go and rinse this off now that the water's warm. As you can see, I still have some scratches where I've left some tools and stuff on the bump board, but we've removed all the debris and I'm ready for my next turn. I'm just going to dry it off. There you have it. So you may be asking yourself, why did I just watch a video on cleaning my bump board? Well, believe it or not, your tournament success can be directly related to whether this bump board is clean or not. So make sure all the markings are clear for your tournaments and tight lines.